This is part 11 of Bootstrap tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss working with block quotes and lists. Block quotes are useful for quoting blocks of content from another source within your web page. The block quote element can be used with any HTML that you want as the quote. For simple text quotes, Bootstrap recommends using a paragraph element. Let's present this famous quote by Benjamin Franklin using the block quote element. So let's flip to Visual Studio. Let's use the block quote element and since the quote that we want to present is a simple text quote, I'm going to wrap that inside the paragraph element as recommended by Bootstrap. And the quote itself is by failing to prepare, you're preparing to fail. So let's save our changes and when we reload this page, notice that famous quote is displayed using the block quote element. Now we also want this footer and to get that footer, within the block quote element, I am going to use footer element and the footer text is this famous quote is by Benjamin Franklin. Let's save our changes and when we reload this page, notice we get the footer as well. Now, when I hover over Benjamin Franklin, the name should also be displayed as a tooltip as you can see here and to achieve that I'm going to wrap Benjamin Franklin inside site element and then whatever we want as a tooltip when we hover the mouse over let's include that as the value for title attribute so let's save our changes and let's reload this and look at this. When I hover over Benjamin Franklin, we see the title attribute value displayed as a tooltip. And at the moment, the block quote content is left aligned. If you want this to be right aligned, then all you have to do is use a class on the block quote element and that class is block quote reverse. Let's save our changes, reload the page, Notice now the content is right aligned as expected. And here is the complete example. Let's now look at lists. For creating an ordered list, use OL and ally tags. Here is an example. We have an ordered list with five different country names. When we reload this page, notice the country names are now presented using an ordered list. For creating an ordered list, use UL and ally tags. Let's convert this ordered list to unordered list. To do that, I'm going to use ul tag instead of ol tag. When we reload this page, notice the country names are now presented using unordered list. To place all list items of an ordered or unordered list on a single line, use list in line class. At the moment, notice every list item is present in its own line. If you want all these list items on a single line, then use list in line class. Notice when we reload the page, all the list items are in a single line. To remove the default list style of ordered and unordered lists, use list unstyled class. Now, first let's remove this class. So this is unordered list. When we reload this page, now the default style for unordered list is that we get a bullet against every list item. If you want to remove that default list style, use list unstyled class. When we reload this page, the bullets should be removed. For creating a list of terms with their associated descriptions, use DL, DT and DD tags. Here is an example. In the interest of time, I have already typed the required HTML. So let's copy it from our notepad and paste it right here. So we have our description list here and we have the term ASP.NET and the description for that term. So ASP.NET is a framework for developing web applications. Similarly, we have another description term here and its description, another term and its description. So let's save our changes and when we reload this, notice we have our description term and the description. So we have the term here and the description here. 
term here and description here. So by default they're displayed like this. But if you want a horizontal, you know, term and description, if you want both of them to be lined up side by side, then use this class DL dash horizontal on the description list. So let's go ahead and use that class. Let's save our changes and when we reload this page Notice now we have the term and description side by side in the same line. In our next video, we'll discuss working with bootstrap list groups. Thank you for listening and have a great day.